All right, CFA Level 1 happening in two weeks, May 18th. At least that is the case for a couple of my CFA tutoring clients. So if you're in that situation where you're in the final stretch for your CFA, I'm hoping that this video is going to help you be prepared to dominate level one on your first attempt when you go into that test site. So let's jump into it. Let's talk a little bit about what your strategy should be at this stage in your studying program. At this point, you should be doing a couple of things. Number one is you should be gathering your notes and your formulas. You want something that you can quickly reference before every mock exam and the actual exam date itself. So something that's going to quickly give you all the formulas that you know are going to be on the test and also help you remember some of the formulas and concepts that you've had the most trouble with. This is an absolute absolute must you should be you should have this already re ready to go at this point and I would recommend that when you have any free time at all you practice writing out the formulas and some of the concepts that you know are gonna trip you up on the exam number two is mock exams mock exams mock exams you absolutely have to be taking a ton of high quality mock exams and you have to do it in the right way so we're gonna talk a little bit more about that because I'm gonna spend the bulk of this video talking about mock exams because I think that's where most of my clients go wrong and where they're having the most trouble but also where there is the biggest opportunity for improvement and then number three is preparing for the day of so you're setting the stage you're thinking about what you're gonna be eating how you're going to sleep the night before, you know, what's going to be your process, how you're going to get there, everything that you need to, to take care of, all the logistics and all the details so that when you show up come game time, you're just thinking about putting points up on the board. All right, so let's talk about mock exams. For mock exams, again, you want to have a lot of great at-bats, a lot of good mock exams. The, the, the How you do on the mock exams is the best indicator of how you're going to do on the actual exam. And you want to be aiming for nailing it. You want to be getting 80, 85% on those mock exams. The number two thing here is that you want to make them as real life as possible. If you can, pretend like you're actually taking the exam. Make it Have the first session be at the, at the time your actual test is going to start. Start, have the second sessions start at the time that you think the actual second second session is going to start. Eat what you're going to eat the day of. Wake up at the same time. Make everything as close as possible to the real life testing experience as as possible. So that's number one. Make it as close to game time as possible for your mock exams. Number two is that you want to spend a lot of time after the mock exam reviewing your actual performance on the mock exam. You want to see how you're doing across different types of sections. So what was your percentage in ethics? What was your percentage in quant? What was your percentage in economics? And you want to write that down. And if you're doing less than 80% on certain key areas, you have to drill down there first. That has to be your priority. If you're getting less than 85% in ethics, less than 80% in quant, less than 80% in equity and portfolio management, less than 80% in FRA, that is a big red flag. You have to focus there first and foremost because those are going to be a big chump, chunk of your overall exam. So you really need to make sure that you sure up those holes in your boat because it more likely than not those are going to be the areas that are, that are going to sink you so if you're drop if you're doing less than 80 percent of fra you got to double down on fra so that's level number one is focusing on the key areas that you know are going to be big chunks of the overall exam but then once you get into those key areas i also want you to in particular focus on the easy questions like when i was doing my my mock exams and and, my, and taking my exams i got certain questions were wrong and in, in, in post and in review some of them were just like mental mistakes or I forgot a formula or I forgot a concept or I, I didn't misread something you cannot afford to make easy mistakes on, on on those types of questions during the exam you just can't afford it and so you have to go back you have to look at those high those high potential areas like FRA and you have to look for the easy problems that you got wrong and you have to absolutely prioritize those. You can kind of get 
like a whack question, right? If they ask you like, what's the cost of capital for the firm? They give you all the inputs and you plug and chug that and you get that wrong. You absolutely cannot get that question wrong because that's an easy type of question. All right. So that's what I want you to do leading into your CFA level one. I want you to focus on these three areas. And in particular, I want you to hit the mock exams really, really hard. And then afterwards, after each mock, be very methodical about reviewing the key areas that you need to focus on. And number two, in making sure that you're not missing any easy questions. You cannot afford to miss any e easy questions in ethics, FRA, economics, quant, corporate finance. You know, if you get an easy question in one of those areas, you got to be able to knock it out of the park. So I hope this video helps and I'm wishing you all the luck on CFA level one. You can do it. Go get it. Talk to you soon.